Welcome to our Bible Timeline study. I am Gian, the founding pastor of Victory Church here in Odessa, Texas. Today we are going to reflect on a passage of the scripture, Genesis 31, from the verse 1 through 24. Maybe you want to grab your Bible and read along with me. I am reading from the easy to read version. Tonight's lesson is Listen the Voice of God to Succeed. February 5th, 2019. What a privilege to study the scripture together. Let's read. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. One day, Jacob heard Laban's sons talking. They said, Jacob has taken everything that our father owned. He has become rich, and he has taken all this wealth from our father. Then Jacob noticed that Laban was not as friendly as he had been in the past. The Lord said to Jacob, Go back to your own land where your ancestors lived. I'll be with you. So Jacob told Rachel and Leah to meet him in the field where he kept his flocks of sheep and goats. He said to them, I have noticed that your father is not as friendly with me as he used to be. But the God of my father has been with me. You both know that I have worked as hard as I could for your father, but he cheated me. He has changed my pay 10 times, but during all this time, God protected me from all of Laban's tricks. At one time, Laban said, you can keep all the goats with spots. This will be your pay. After he said this, all the animals gave birth the spotted goats, so they were all mine. But then Laban said, I will keep the spotted goats. You can have all the striped goats. That will be your pay. After he said this, all the animals gave birth to a striped goat. So God has taken the animals away from your father and has given them to me. I had a dream during the time when the animals were mating. I saw that the only male goats that were mating were the ones with stripes and spots. The angel of God spoke to me in that dream. The angel said, Jacob, I answered, yes. The angel said, look, only the stripped and spotted goats are mating. I am causing this to happen. I have seen all the wrong things Laban has been doing to you. I am doing this so that you can have all the new baby goats. I am the God who came to you at Bethel, and there you made an altar poured olive oil on it and made a promise to me. Now I want you to be ready to go back to the country where you were born. Rachel and Leah answered Jacob, Our father has nothing to give us when he dies. He treated us like strangers. He sold us to you. And then he spent all the money that should have been ours. God took all this wealth from our father, and now it belongs to us and our children. So, you should do whatever God told you to do. So Jacob prepared for the trip. He put his children and his wives on camels. Then they began traveling back to the land of Canaan, where his father lived. All the flocks of animals that Jacob owned walked ahead of them. He carried everything with him that he had gotten while he lived in Padam Aram. While Laban was gone to cut the wool from his sheep, Rachel went into his house and stole the false gods that belonged to her father. Jacob tricked Laban the Aramean. He did not tell Laban he was leaving. Jacob took his family and everything he owned and left quickly. They crossed the Euphrates River and traveled toward the hill country of Gilead. Three days later, Laban learned that Jacob had run away. So he gathered his men together and began to chase Jacob. After seven days, Laban found Jacob near the hill country of Gilead. That night, God came to Laban 
in a dream and said, Be careful. Be careful of every word you say to Jacob. <laughs> These stories are getting better and better. You know, we started a, over a year ago from Genesis chapter 1. We are now only in chapter 31. And every week that we do our Bible study, there are so many wonderful things that we discovered in these readings. You know, investing time reading God's Word and reflecting about what He is telling us in each section, it is fabulous. And I know you are as excited as I am to know what is this lesson all about. Well, the title of this lesson is Listen the Voice of God to Succeed. But let's just start with something very interesting. You know that everywhere there is money, there is trouble. You know that. In companies, in businesses, every time there is money and there are some commissions or percentages of bonuses or anything that has to do with making money, every single time there are going to be different, different kind of problems. That's life, you know? And if you are thinking that there is a perfect job, if there is a perfect position, a perfect place where you are going to work without problems, my friend, you are dreaming. <laughs> you are dreaming because that doesn't exist. Every single job in this world has its own troubles. It's part of life. Now, one thing is true is where there is more money, when there are more commissions and bonuses and people can make extra money, the, the level of anxiety, the obligations and the turmoil, of course, is, is going to be higher than in other atmospheres, naturally, but it's unavoidable. There is trouble where there is money, because there is nothing easy in this world. Nothing is easy. Think about it. Everything you want, you need to put a lot of effort into it, and you work hard in order to make money, and you need to be smart in order to make money and you need to put effort in order to make money because things are not going to be simple or easy and easy for anybody no you know even those who inherit money they need to be wise how they can use that money those who are supervisors or managers of different companies or CEOs etc those are people that are smart they need to pay attention to their businesses whatever is what they do it's not easy to make money. You have to be smart. You need to pay attention. And of course, with it, you are going to be surrounded by different kind of problems. One of those problems is the complaints. You will have people complaining and sometimes gossiping, like happened in this case. You know, the, the children of Laban, uh, those sons, they start saying that Jacob was taking the money of his father, that he was stealing that, and that was not the case. We know by reading what happened. Laman was tricky, actually, to, to Jacob several times. But in each one of those cases, the Lord was guiding Jacob. But there is something that is not right. In one occasion, during this passage, we read that Rachel went to steal something that belonged to her father, and they were false gods. And you know why she did that? Because she was afraid. Fear is something that will lead people to do what is wrong. Whatever is what you do, if you work for a company or you have your own business, whatever is what you do to make your money, you need to operate based on trust in the Lord, based on your faith in doing things right. And you cannot let fear control you. Because when you allow fear to control you, you will, you will try to manipulate things and eventually you can do things that are wrong. And there is no one thing that will come back to you good when you start doing things wrong. No. Everything that you do, should, you should do it the right way, not in the wrong way. Because when you are operating a business or working for a, a company and you start doing things wrong, sooner or later there is going to be a consequence of that. And that is not what you want. 
you want the support of God, you want to be uh, faithful, you want to be found as an employee that is loyal, doing the right thing, compliant, not having issues with the law or procedures or anything. Because there, when you do the right thing, the Lord is going to be with you. You know that it is, it's interesting. The Lord spoke to Laban. It is in the verse number 24. In a dream, the Lord said, listen to what the Lord spoke to Laban. Be careful. <laughs> be careful of every word you say to Jacob. Isn't it wonderful? The Lord can speak to those who are not the chosen ones to tell them, be careful of each word you say to my chosen one. That is why we need to be close to the Lord, to listen to His voice. Whatever is what you are going through today, whatever challenges that you have, if you take the time to pray and reflect in your life with the Bible near you, you will hear the voice of the Lord guiding you to do certain things, and those things are going to be good things. And once you understand what is what the Lord wants you to do, and you do it, you will have His support. The Lord is going to be with you, regardless how complicated the situation could be. You know, it doesn't matter how difficult the times are. It doesn't matter how high is the level of complexity in your business or in your operation and you know all these things that you should consider it doesn't matter because when the Lord is with you he will protect you he even will put in the minds of those who are not the chosen ones to be careful the way that they speak to you as a chosen one precisely for that reason is that we want to be the chosen one. You need to be sure that you are a chosen one. Someone that God loves and protects and defends and cares for and blesses. Because the blessing of God is what will make you really happy in your life. It's not about things, friends. It's not about stuff. But there is something that is true. The Lord blesses those who are good in the kingdom, who serve Him, who are correct, decent, honest, faithful, and especially those who have the faith in Him, that all their trust is in Him. And that is my invitation to you. Put all your trust in the Lord. Do not put your trust in the company or in the market or in your businesses or in your services or in your investments or in anything. No, 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 no. Put your trust in the Lord. There is where you are safe. And then you do what is right. Listen the voice of the good Lord and you will succeed in everything in your life. I invite you to come to our church services on Sunday 10 a.m. and of course our Bible study every Tuesday, 7 p.m. If you are in Odessa, the address is in the screen. And if you want to continue watching these videos, please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, also in Periscope. You can find us in our YouTube channel and our Vimeo channel. And for those who have Roku TVs, find our channel in Roku, My Victory Roku channel. Also, if you want to listen to the podcast, you can find us, find us as well. We are in all places in order to bring inspiration to people, encourage you, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your support. In the name of Jesus, have a beautiful night, friends.